I want to settle the argument about the contraband in the penitentiary and where it comes from. It comes from the guards. For real. I have never seen a guy walk through the security gate of the penitentiary with 100 packs of bugler. Doesn't happen. I got a good friend. I'm going to be on his show tonight, Dane Gentry, at 7 p.m. His show is standing back up, right, live streaming. And he tells a story about a guy. They had got something in, and they smelled the weed. And they had a cell phone. And that guy made the cell phone disappear. And it wasn't David Copperfield. But the majority of stuff that's coming, 99% of the stuff that's coming into the penitentiary, the knives, the dope, the cell phones, is coming from the people that are employed to work there. Right? That's just a fact. And if they're telling you something, it's smoke and mirrors. Because they got scanners, metal detectors, personal people getting frisked, electric fences, two, two strands of barbed wire, drones, 96 million cameras, and 200 sets of eyes on any shift during the visitation yard process. And it ain't coming that way, I promise you. It's coming from the people within. And if you don't like it, you just don't like the truth because that's what it's about. The guards are selling the dope and the guards are selling the phones. 90 something percent of it. And here's what I hate the most outside of that is that the population in difference from Cummins Penitentiary saying 1996 when Lockhart took, stole all the shit and the new law went in fact and he stole all their shit for real tractors and cattle and everything else and moved to Texas. Versus when I went to the penitentiary, say two, 2013, or went back to Cummins. The population difference might have been 200 inmates. In 99 or 96, they might have had 200 less than what they have now. But it only required 28 paid employees to run the penitentiary. That's because they had People that, that held the keys, inmates worked the penitentiary, right? And there was a whole hell of a lot of inmates, more freedoms. Versus now, where the same amount of people require 275 people on a shift at Cummins for each shift, and all they bitch about is they ain't got no manpower. No, what you got is some people that don't want to do their fucking job, right? People that want to sit and look at their phone. People that don't want to, uh, do anything to promote a better, safe place for inmates, convicts, and interact with people. Now they want to sell them dope and cell phones and then throw them in a hole when they get caught with them. That is the fucking gospel. Join us tonight for this and other conversations. God bless you. Seven o'clock, Dane Gentry's Standing Up podcast. Hope I got that right, Dean. I love you. God bless you. We'll see you tonight. Fluid English. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's my. <laughs>